Linda Hazard. Linda Hazard dedicated her life to helping people working as a medical practitioner who used alternative medicine. In the early 20th century, many of her patients died of varying causes, from starvation to a bullet wound. Hazard spent a few years in prison for manslaughter. When she got sick in 1938, she attempted to cure herself by fasting, but instead she starved to death. Randy Stephen Kraft College graduate, military man, and friendly face were all words that could describe Randy Stephen Kraft. But to the press, he was mostly known as the freeway killer who killed at least 16 young males. More Randy Stephen Kraft 73 of 130 famous American serial killers 18 of 41. The most prolific American serial killers 17 of 20 serial killers who had normal jobs. Dean Corlo. As a local candy store owner, Nobody suspected that the friendly face that handed out sweets to neighborhood kids could actually be a serial murderer. Dean Corlo not only killed dozens of boys, but he also raped and tortured them. More Dean Corlo 21 of 61 The Scariest Serial Killers in History 5 of 11 The 11 Strangest Twists in True Crime History 17 of 28 28 Serial Killers Who Were Never Caught Marcel Petit. French doctor Marcel Petit was well respected within his town. During World War Roman II, almost 30 corpses were found on his property. He was charged with 27 murders, but he admitted to 60 killings during his trial. He was executed in 1946. John Bodkin Adams. John Bodkin Adams worked as a general practitioner in England and managed to become the beneficiary of 132 of his patients' wills. He was, however, never found guilty of any murders. Michael Swango. Michael Swango worked as a physician. He served in the Marines and received an honorable discharge. He killed around 60 of his patients, but was only convicted of a few of the murders. More 116 of 130 famous American serial killers, 5 of 26 serial killers, who were doctors or nurses, 29 of 41, the most prolific American serial killers. Albert Fish. To the outside world, Albert Fish seemed like a normal husband and father of six children. It was a shock when Fish revealed that he had raped, killed, and ate hundreds of children. More Albert Fish 41 of 130 famous American serial killers 7 of 19 the creepiest Wikipedia pages 8 of 11 we asked you answered. Which serial killer, living or dead, would you want to be pen pals with? Carl Dink. Poland's famous serial killer Carl Dink was an active member of his community and even an organist in church. Surely the people who bought meat from him didn't know they were actually purchasing human flesh. Dink killed and ate at least 30 people. Or Carl Denk 12 of 16 prolific, horrifying foreign serial killers you've probably never heard of 14 of 20 serial killers who had normal jobs 25 of 41 41 dangerous serial killers who had nicknames. Andrew Conanon Although technically a spree killer, not a serial killer, Andrew Cunanan is famous for murdering five people, 
including Gianni Versace, the famous fashion designer. Cunanan had an IQ of 147, making him a genius. His classmates remembered him as a charming and smart student. John Wayne Gacy John Wayne Gacy was a shoe salesman, active in his community, and even entertained children as a clown. Little did the community or his wife know Gacy was raping and murdering young men in his spare time. He was executed in 1994. Or John Wayne Gacy 9 of 15 the most elaborate final meals in death row history 1 of 61 the scariest serial killers in history 5 of 15 we asked, you answered, which serial killer would you most like to see a new biographical movie made? Holmes Holmes is famous for murdering tourists during the world's Colombian exposition with anywhere between 27 and 130 victims to his name. However, he was also a pharmacist. Surely none of the patients that depended on his services had any idea that he had a torture dungeon in his basement. More H. Holmes 62 of 130 famous American serial killers 1461 of 2443 most influential people of all time 6 of 19 the creepiest Wikipedia pages. Ted Bundy Ted Bundy was known to all who knew him as a charming man. He was a volunteer at a suicide hotline and a college graduate. However, he was known to have killed at least 36 women throughout the 1970s. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.